Hi everybody, you're watching Newegg TV. I'm here from Tuan from ASUS, and we're going to be talking about the new ZenBook UX305. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Good, Hi. thanks for coming down and bringing the fun new little ZenBook with you. How is uh, this one stacking up against previous models? Um, this is our first entry level ZenBook. Most of the previous models were higher end ones. This mm -hmm. starts at $699, and it's our thinnest and lightest ZenBook yet. Mm -hmm. um, it weighs 2.6 pounds and is about 0.5 inches oh, thick. Wow. So It is very light. I can just actually hold it here with one hand. And you could probably balance it on your head, too. <laughs> we'll try that later. <laughs> is this still considered an Ultrabook, then? Yes, this is still an Ultrabook. It weighs okay. so little, it's very portable. Yeah, it can go pretty much anywhere. What are the uh, internals we're looking at? So it's going to be Intel, right? So, yeah, this is powered by Intel Core M 5Y10 processor, which is based off Broadwell. Um, since it's a very efficient processor, it gets really good battery life, up to 10 hours. And since it's very efficient, we can cool it passively. So there's no fans, no mm -hmm. ramping up in the middle of what you're doing, and mm -hmm. just complete silence. Okay, so for uh, storage, we're looking at a 256 gigabyte SSD. Yes. So in addition to the SSD, this actually does have pretty substantial memory for the size of uh, notebook that it is. Yeah, it has eight gigs of RAM. It's plenty for your daily tasks, for like productivity, web browsing, mm -hmm. internet, movie streaming. Cool. Speaking of movie streaming, let's talk about some of the external adaptability. So you've got uh, how many USB ports can it Walk me through the ports and the, the out external features. So we have, you know, there's there's three USB 3.0 ports, one on that side, two on this side, and you have an SD card slot so you can import pictures from your camera or okay. just have an external storage device. Um, and then you have your standard uh, micro HDMI port for display connectivity and the mm -hmm. headphone slash microphone jack. Cool, and you said that earlier that um, the Intel processor and Wi-Fi inside do, does give you the ability to mirror stream. Uh, you, you, can, you can connect to mirror cast devices oh, mirror cast. or I believe it's Intel wireless display depending on the adapter you need. So okay. you can just project the screen remotely. So that makes this very good for a, uh, you know, a business person who might need to do boardroom presentations, yeah. take it with them on the go. Yeah, it's small and connects wirelessly to everything. So. So speaking of the things that people are going to be viewing on this laptop and using it, what is the screen resolution? So it's a 1080p display, a little 13.3 inch, and it's a, this is our completely matte version. There's no touch screen, but you get a full nice matte display, no glare, mm -hmm. which is perfect for anyone that goes out where there's sunshine. Right. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when I first saw it. It would be the ideal for a writer who likes to kind of get out of their workspace, go enjoy a coffee shop or go enjoy, you know, a park or somewhere outdoors so that they can clear their head and, you know, write whatever they're working on. Um, it basically can go anywhere that somebody feels more inspired. So that really adds to the versatility. And the display also can get quite bright. I you mm -hmm. have it rated at 300 nits of brightness as well. So. Oh, excellent. So that's good in a little bit darker environments. Yeah. Cool. I also noticed that you guys have the uh, full-size key faces, which is really great for typing. Yeah, it's a nice full-size keyboard. It, it's very nice to type with responsive keys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of Asus notebooks in general. I own one myself, and the keyboard has always been a really strong selling feature to me. That's good to know. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add about this before I let you go? Um, we have like, you know, it has their general Zenbook design cues, like the concentric circle design on the front cover and, you know, the nice, the wedge mm -hmm. design and it's, it's a good looking laptop. The color is obsidian stone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not too black, but it's not too brown either. Yeah. And it's all aluminum. Yeah. That adds to the lightness for sure. <laughs> All right, Tuan, well, thank you so much for coming out and showing me the new ZenBook uh, UX305. Yeah, thanks. All right, everybody, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our various YouTube channels. Until next time, I'm Jennifer, and thank you for watching Newegg TV.